me and my buddy Alfred will be mining Dash today. So stay tuned. So yes, uh, Dash has gained a lot of interest in recent uh, uh, time because of its stability. It's uh, another great uh, currency as they call it, digital cash. It, uh, it has this uh, privacy feature, feature and uh, also, also they uh, call it uh, very user friendly and they're pushing uh, merchandises to use in uh, in their shops and uh, uh, yeah and uh, it has built in a really uh, interesting way where the uh, block rewards from mining 40% uh, goes to uh, miners and 40% goes to master nodes and I think 20% goes to developers and advisors not really sure but uh, yeah, and to have a master node, you need to have a thousand uh, Dash coins on your uh, wallet to launch the master node. So I think this is a really good feature to uh, stop the inflation. And uh, uh, also, they have a every year they uh, blocker re reward re reduces and. Uh, and that, that also stops the inflation and that's that's why the, the dash coin is so stable it uh, goes all the time slowly up in the price and doesn't have a big uh, price drops as the some other coins might have so yeah and we will be mining to today it's pretty simple you know the, the dash coin you know that there's now the ASIC miners out for dash coin I think it's dash is already about three years old coin Oh, uh, and yeah, for, right, I will show you what you will need for, uh, uh, starting mining dash. I have this, uh, the cheapest option is this ASIC, uh, Baikal miner, 150 mega hash. It's pretty small, you know, it's about 500, 600 grams. And, uh, then you will need, uh, a DC adapter and uh, uh, 12 volts and at least 5 ampere and uh, that the tip should be uh, the inner circle two and a half millimeters and the outer circle has to be 5.5 5, uh, millimeters and also you will need a LAN cable so yeah let's let's turn this thing on it's very simple to do it. Just first thing you want to uh, you want to insert the LAN cable. There's a socket. So after that, uh, the DC adapter goes in here. In this socket, you just turn off before you plug it in the DC adapter. Okay, so it's on. As you can see, it starts working. And you can see that the blue light flashing, it means it's uh, looking for IP address. And uh, when it will stop flashing, when it will stay on the blue light, it, will, it means it is uh, uh, able to start mining. So the next thing is what you need to do is uh, uh, logging in into your router and uh, get the IP address for the uh, for this uh, Baikal miner and uh, and then you just connect to the IP address to the miner and. Uh, uh, switch your pools and uh, change your usernames. There's all kind of 
default settings, you know, and you can just need to edit them. So I will, I will show you that. It's very simple to do it. And uh, I will take you inside my uh, uh, laptop and will show you how to uh, start mining with it. So I can, I can show you now here, you see the, uh, the blue light on the miner stays on all the time. So it is ready for mining. So you can see I'm uh, logged in into my uh, uh, 150 mega hash Baikal miner and it's mining already at 152 mega hash. I have logged in through my web browser to uh, miners IP address. And uh, if you can't log in into your router, you know, the, the, the router IP address should be on your uh, modem and uh, and uh, you can just log in and uh, see which devices are connected and you should see a Baikal and uh, you just uh, look at what IP, IP address it has and then just open in your web browser the IP address and you should be uh, logging into your uh, miner. It will ask you for the password and username, it's Baikal and uh, after that you can change it for your own safety. So yeah. And uh, this is the first uh, uh, miner stats page. It has connected to the coin mine pool. And the good thing is uh, you need to update at least three pools. You know, sometimes it gets disconnected from one pool and then you can connect to the other pool. It connects automatically. So, uh, and then you send priority which pool you want to this, this miner to mine. So I have set up for three pools, coin mine and uh, supernova and uh, Z pool to mine dash. And there's few other uh, tabs which you can uh, take a look and, uh, but you really just need to here to do the setup here. Where's the tab miner. And there's also like uh, available already the uh, examples. You just need like Add example, you know, you want to connect to the search pool. It gives you automatically uh, the URL where to connect and port. And you just need to type in username and uh, if it has a password as well. So yeah, that's that's basically it. This is how you mine with uh, Baikal Miner. And uh, yeah, it's very stable. It's uh, going the same uh, speed it uh, uh, says it does even faster 152 mega hash also it does uh, 40 watts of power this small thing so it's uh, uh, very efficient on the power okay thanks for watching so yes as you can see it it's very simple to mine dash coin and it's very easy to set up my buddy Alfred enjoys it also a lot and uh, you just need uh, a miner, LAN cable and DC adapter and you can start, start easy mining dash and uh, when you have uh, all set the miner after then if you want to re reboot you know you just reboot the miner and uh, it will automatically start mining to your saved settings so yeah Hope you got value from this and I hope uh, you like my new t-shirt. I uh, got this from a friend of mine. He is an online shop uh, in, based in Belgium. He sells all kinds of cryptocurrency merchandise. So if you want to take a look, I will have a link in the description. And also thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos. And goodbye till the next video.